Black Widow is now under two weeks away, so I want to make sure that I made at least a couple more videos on this film before the movie's release to not only celebrate the fact that it's coming, but also to remind you guys that, yeah, it it's actually coming after originally being set to release over a year ago. It's now finally here, or almost here, and yeah, for real, real this time, it's not getting delayed again, or at least... I hope not. That'd be that'd be really weird if it did. But no, it's not getting delayed. Black Widow is finally here. And today we are talking about the villain of the film, who of course is going to be Taskmaster. And this is a character that we've talked about a lot in this film because uh, one of the big mysteries with the character is who he is, who's under the mask. And that's been a big mystery. The big theory and assumption is that he's going to be O.T. Fagginbale's character of Mason because we've seen him in like no promotional material other than like one poster, so it's probably him, but we're not talking about his identity today. Today, we're talking about his powers, and of course, in the comics, when it comes to the character of Taskmaster, he has actual superpowers that's kind of like photographic reflexes, where he can literally copy any moves and any fighting style that he has seen in the past, whether that's up close and personal in an actual fight with that person, or even just watching a video or footage of that. And we've seen examples of this in the trailers for Black Widow, where we see uh, not only is he actually watching footage from past MCU films, like watching that scene of Black Widow in Iron Man 2, and there was one... Uh, spot in the trailer you saw him watching a clip from the civil war battle of hawkeye versus black panther so he's definitely studying and he's doing his homework to learn all of these different styles we saw him emulate black panther we saw him emulate spider-man hawkeye and of course black widow herself but how's this gonna work in the movie are they actually going to say that this guy has superpowers I don't think so, because that'd probably be a little too complicated to explain all that with everything else they're doing in this film. So the big theory that we're going with and that has been around uh, for a long time, I think I actually made a video on this literally a year ago before the movie was originally supposed to come out, that his powers actually comes from Stark Tech. And we've seen evidence from this based on promo art, as you can see here with like his heads up display and then also on some merchandise, but now a new clip from a new featurette or TV spot, whatever you want to call it for Black Widow, actually confirms this because, you know, it's one thing being on promo and merchandise because sometimes, sometimes things change for the movie and things get wrong on merchandise, but when you actually see it in the movie, you know what's happening. And, uh, I mean, we're getting, like, a new featurette, new spot, like, every single day, so we've been getting a lot of new footage lately, and uh, it shows us this one clip this one shot here where you can see from taskmaster's point of view looking out of his mask at natasha and you see there is a heads up display very similar to one we saw tony stark use in captain america civil war so i actually just watched captain america civil war uh yesterday and i was watching very carefully with this scene uh to fi to find these little things here and uh well ch just go and check out the scene you can't beat him hand to hand. Analyze his fight pattern. Scanning. <laughs> Countermeasures ready. Let's kick his ass. He's my friend. So was I. Yeah, as you can see in this scene from Captain America Civil War in the final battle of Iron Man versus Captain America, we did see Tony Stark using some sort of new technology that could, well, in this film, he wasn't actually using it to copy Captain America's fighting style, but instead actually coming up with a set fighting style to counteract his attacks and block. So... I feel like this could maybe even be reversed for Taskmaster's technology, and maybe somehow Taskmaster got a hold of this technology, uh, which would make a lot of sense, because, I mean, at the end of that movie, Iron Man was just left laying there in Siberia, pieces of his armor were all over the place, he totally could have misplaced a piece and just left it there, and then Taskmaster came along and was like, hey, what's this? I'll use this, and then become the Taskmaster. So, uh, especially when, like, you compare the heads-up display here from Iron Man's suit to the one that we very briefly uh, see in the Black Widow featurette. So 
that looks like pretty much what is going on here. And again, this is a big theory that we've been having for the longest time, but I feel like it makes so much sense. Uh, with there even being rumors of a Robert Downey Jr. Tony Stark cameo, because this movie does pl take place before Avengers Infinity War. So it makes sense that we would be having huge ties to Tony Stark and Stark Tech. But guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. What do you think about this theory that Taskmaster is getting his powers from Stark technology in the Blackwood movie? Do you think this is what's actually going on here? And if not, are you hoping he has the superpowers? I know I am, but I highly doubt that's going to be the case. Uh, but anyways, guys, I am super excited for this film. Again, it comes out July 9th. Next Friday, we are less than two weeks away. I am so excited for this. Of course, I'm going to do a full spoiler review and breakdown for it when it does come out that Friday. Uh, but guys, let me know down in the comments below all your thoughts and theories and predictions for the Black Widow film.